and we're live. Let's fix the camera. There we go. Much better. It was very well, it still looks pretty good. Hi guys. Stuff out of the way. Hello, hello. Alright. Happy Memorial Day to everyone. Hello. <laughs> Danny, Darnell, Julie, Shelly, Brian, Linda, Cindy. They're all coming in. Know where the party's at. This is where the party's at. Gloria's here. Kathy's here. Alright, Tootsie. It's got a big night tonight, guys. Tootsie. All right, babe, show last week's meetings. Let's get the show on the road. One, two, three, four. No, one, two, three, four. First one by 14 by yours truly. Uh, this was a four cup kind of ribbon pour that lost its ribbons. But I like the leopard spots. Fine. I forget the date though. And put the initial down it too because. Yeah, sometimes I think they're mine. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. So this is what you did second, right? Yes. 10 by 20. Kiss card. Traveling kiss. I love that corner where your, where your pencil is. And your fire. What else would you like to say about this? I don't kiss. Where'd the kiss go? It's where the colors blend again. The kiss is gone. And the third painting from last week was eight by twenty. Flip and drag. I was told it's very, very dark. I told you it would be dark. But it's pretty. I still like it. You still like it. And then lastly. Was this 12 by 12? What 
Would you like to say? with color. I just did a ring pour with silicone. It's an it. Yeah. <laughs> Is it like a yeah for yeah? Alan did that. <laughs> no. So that was last week's. Mm -hmm. What you got up your sleeves for this week? We're gonna do vases tonight because and candy dishes and. Pen holders because I have none left. Your boxes already went out, Nate. <laughs> Do you want to use some um, parchment tonight over oh, top of a pen? Oh, we can. Yeah, the box is right there on the other side of the core table. Oh, I know what boxes you're talking about, Nate. Yes, yeah, the embellishment boxes. <laughs> we have lots of the oops. Where'd you say what? They were? Right there on the other side. Organizing a little. Yeah, we weren't home all day, so we had things to do today. So we're going to be using. Um, paints without silicone tonight and maybe throw on some new colors. When Alan's done with his first face, I will introduce the new colors. So don't use them yet. <laughs> we have new colors. We have new colors. Just save that great big glass for that good one. Were you saving these for the other ones, or? No. Well, I think you have to use those for that size base. That's because, what I thought. Yeah, you don't want the cups that fit right. So I'm going to bring you guys down and then sideways so you can see the side. Uh-oh. Go much higher. I think that'll be good. I was coached a little earlier today. You were coached? Yeah, you were coaching me. I'm not sure I'm going to listen, but... I you don't know, remember coaching you. <laughs> you don't remember? No. Where were the six items that we had to get today? Oh, and I said, oh, I won't forget. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. There you go. I remember them all. I still feel like we forgot some. Color choices. 
Borage Posse Purple Shimmer. And again, these do not have any silicone. Carolina Blue Shimmer. And why don't you want the uh, silicone in these? I don't want it to skip on the base. Susan's Heirloom Rose Shimmer. And one of our classics, the Sleeping Beauty Turquoise Shimmer. Really like doing basins, don't we? Yeah, there's a couple nice things about them. You want some white in there, You want some white in there? Yeah, otherwise, I think you're gonna get money. Squirt it down the middle. Okay, got the white, no silicone. Do you want, let me put another round in first. The vases that we use, the candy dishes. Glasses, um, very inexpensive. You can usually pick them up at the Dollar Tree. I have not, Julie, but I thought about it. I think you would have to um, paint the vase first so the paint will stick better. Go right down the center. I think it would come out all pearls, though. I think he means juicy, Cheryl. Those big juicy cells. Tell us about your base. What about my base? I like the way it's opening up. I think that turquoise shimmer, that Sleeping Beauty that I put in there, is what's going to give you that. Along with that white, should open it up a little. You know, we should pour these on the turntable so we can turn them. Um, tumbler and I resin them. My cup turner tumbler. 
I have um, one video on that. I need to shoot more videos on that turn tape or the tumbler, cup turner, different things you can do on it. Thank you, Shelly. Shelly posted a link to that video. So we did not see one Dollar Tree today, did we? We saw it. We just drove by it. Yeah, we didn't stop. <laughs> But what did what else did we see twice? Oh, what did we see twice? My favorite place. Remember when I said we should post and see if anybody needs anything? The Amazon distribution oh. center. <laughs> place is huge. This is still going to uh, drop a little. Yep. I love that right there. That? Yeah, with just the fingerlings coming through. Yeah, I planned it. You did? Okay. So I'll ask you to do it again now. Okay. Just checking to see if there's anything looks out of place because I did find a little piece of dry paint that I was able to pick out with these handy little nippers. Just don't lose them. Remember last time we lost them. Now, the trick is and getting this. You can touch this. the bottom on these because I forked them. Towards a drying rack without dropping. Because that paint on those plastic cups is slickery. Um, I would say about 15, 20 minutes, it pretty much is done dripping. They changed quite a bit, though, in that 15 minutes. First transfer was successful. Hi, Darnell. Now, some people pour vases on canvases. Yeah. But we made the decision tonight not to do that. This is some pretty runoffs, though. No. <laughs> no. no. It is. It is pretty. We have so many canvases right now. We don't need any more. No, it's not. That's a pretty big thing. All right. Well, You're I'm gonna up. I'm gonna introduce new colors before I paint. Because I may want to use a couple of them. 
Hello, Renee. Glad you could join us. Thanks, boss. So remember to introduce some formal, like Mr. and Mrs. What? Your colors. Why Mr. and Mrs.? Ah, uh, you're funny. Well, when you do introductions, you should always do formal introductions. All right, so everybody at the retreat was the first ones to get our new 2021 Beach Retreat Shimmer. This is a gorgeous, metallic-y, pearly, turquoise blue. It's absolutely beautiful. And I'm not being biased. It is a gorgeous color. Our next color is Sandbar. Kind of looks like makeup, doesn't it? But it's super, super pretty. No shimmers in these, just the one. And then we have Mellow Yellow. One of my faves, Sea Foam. And last but not least, Wisteria. So they're nice little pale colors. These are the colors of beach houses up on the coast. Um, I did not do the purple because we have a purple. That's very, well, I'm not purple, the raspberry, sorry. Because we have a raspberry. And I did not do um, the light, super light blue. Because I thought that would be a pretty color for winter. So these are our five new colors. These will be available on Etsy tomorrow. And I'm starting a sale on Etsy tomorrow. 10% off. And in our group, uh, we're running the jar sale again. The information is in the group if you're a member of the Praj Posse. If you want to order, you can also email me at christinawellchart at yahoo.com. So, let's get going. And if you stick around, you might win the set. So before you um, prep your bases, after you get your stickers off and everything, you want to clean them with alcohol, 91% alcohol and a paper towel to get any residual off of the base so that the paint sticks good. Well, <laughs> good. Yes, I'm still sunburned. It's lingering. It's not tanning down. It's not crooked. It looks perfectly straight to me. Brian, stop tilting your head. <laughs> it's probably the camera. But I'm going to do that on a turntable so you guys can see it better. I'm going to have to lift the camera up a little bit, though. Let me get you guys up a little bit. Because I have a monster of a vase to do tonight, too. Here we go. Julie says, Christine, I want your apron. I have a headscarf to match it. Oh, it's so dirty. I have so many new aprons in the cabinet that I haven't even worn yet. I'm going to cut some of this off. Because it will distract me. Did you miss the big reveal? You just missed it. But we'll show them again. Just reviled. Huh? He frames it just reviled. Leave Brian alone. I'm not picking up Brian. Okay. Just say the word, Brian. 
I bet them. Hello, Stephanie. Glad you could join us. All right. So I'm going to use Shelly's Masquerade. I have been in love with this color this week for some reason. And I'm going to try some Juniper with it. Let's do some gold in there. And mm. Just tap your fingers, not spin your. I'm, I'm thinking. Maybe I'll put some brown in there or dark chocolate. All right. And of course, I'll use white. It's a stand bar. Shh. <laughs> Just a touch in the bottom of my cup. All right, let's start with the juniper. I filled a lot of these bottles before we went live. I follow it with Shelly's Masquerade. Then let's do some gold. This is the one that's got the clumpy in the head. Ugh. And it gave me problems the other day and I didn't clean it enough. Just a little clumpy. Because we were gone and we didn't like shake these or anything. I need to redo the, the paint wall. All these paints need to be transferred into clean bottles and you know, all that fun stuff. Jack Jarrett says, What about putting the base on a smaller turntable? I don't have a smaller turntable. Yeah. And the chat says lots of boogers lately. Yeah, it's because they've been sitting. We don't paint as often as we used to. See? You don't shake them at least, you know, once a week. They start to dry in the in the cap. Now Nate does um, pantyhose on the inside of his bottle, so that nothing goes up through that cap. Shots of not just you, Christina. Must be she's getting boogers too. Yeah, it's the change in the weather too. So we're going from. Winter to summer. It has nothing to do with me stirring, that's for sure. It's just from sitting in the bottles. Nate says mesh. Yeah, the mesh. Mm -hmm. Well, whatever. Same concept, right? All right, let's see what we get. I like that brown coming out the first time, and I'm not sure about the second time. Where's the brown go? It's there. there. I actually went 
wanted less white, but as that drags this down, it'll use some more color. My skin is pretty too. I have no tiles prepped. Where's the box? Of, where's the box of tiles that we brought back? Where are they? I have no idea. Probably in the art shed. <laughs> it's a cool design on our side. I like funky things. Effect. Yeah, I don't like when you just do a ring pour and just let it fall. I like to like loop it to give you a little more um, composition, a little more interest. Because these loops here will be way down here when it's done dripping off. That's cool. I'm digging it. Just stack our cups. Pretty, pretty. You know what else we could have done? Is just stuck a piece of cardboard underneath this and just lift the cardboard. <laughs> so there's a question from it's not here. Do you put a cork or something bottom on? I do. And does it not stick when finished? I use um size of cork and that stuff you cannot get it off unless you scrape it off. Anything that you do like this that's covered in resin. You really want to wash it by hand. You don't want to stick it in the dishwasher. You don't want to stick it in your sink to soak. Just get in there and clean it and put it in your dish strainer. Let it air dry or you can towel dry it too. But you don't want to soak anything that's covered in resin. Hello, Michelle. She says, hi, Christine. Grateful Creations Food. Hi, Michelle. All right, I'm ready to move it. Hello, Joyce. Glad you could join us. So did you touch the bottom of yours when you moved it? I did, of course. You did, okay. Because it's still going to fall. Did you take it off the paper? I did. Okay. I need, I need to slide it over there before I lift it then. I did that too. Okay. You scared? Don't be scared. Just a little. Just a little bit. It's only really slippery for a moment. Oh, for a moment. I just don't like dripping on the floor because we already have enough paint on this floor. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Shoot. Sarah, Sarah loves your apron. We have um, smaller parchment. That's the word I was looking for. Good Lord. I think we should give away before we start another one. A, a giveaway? Yeah. Let's do what we are scheduled to do first. As our giveaway, <laughs> one of Brian's toys. Um, oh, they're down here. So tonight, let's make it fun. We'll do a set of three cups. You'll get the four chamber the three chamber and the two. That'll be our prize for tonight. 
because it's the last Monday in May. And Brian had given us a bunch of gadgets to give away. And check out Brian's Etsy shop for other new items he has. Give me a number, Alan. Everybody refresh if you haven't. If you're lagging, get refreshed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. Thanks, Bri. What's that? Oh, make sure you're in live chat and not top chat. Don't, you can't change it because you're live. I'm banging my gong. I need that in my hand. Better put my thumb over it though because you use a pink marker. So the way we play, if you haven't won anything in 30 days, you can participate. If you have, um, please sit out, let someone else win something. Picking a number between 1 and 50, and we will say stop when it's been guessed. And I pay the shipping in the U.S., and if you're outside of the U.S., you pay the shipping. So on your mark, get set, go. There it is. We have a winner. Stephanie Ward is our winner with number 34. Stephanie, shoot me an email to Christina Welch Art at yahoo.com. Congratulations, Stephanie. Congrats, Stephanie. I think I remember seeing her earlier that she made it tonight. She was so happy about it. Now she's got another reason to be happy. All right, boss man. So what? You're up. You can do this or one of those. Let's do a smaller one. Candy dish. Candy dish. You can do it up on the turntable so they can see it. That way you can spin it around. If you guys hear squeaking, it's my shoes, I promise. <laughs> Don't believe her. What'd you say? Yes, it's my shoes while I'll take them off. I had them on at the beach and I kept telling everybody, I promise, it's just shoe parts, not me. <laughs> Hi, Jen. Gotta move it back, Shell. Move it back. <laughs> That's it. I'm taking them off. You guys gonna pick on me now? <laughs> well, yeah. My arches don't like sketchers for some reason. Uh, can't give them by mediums. I did wear some smalls at the retreat, which were really comfy, but the mediums are what I normally wear. I think Vicky brought a box of smalls, wasn't it? Somebody did. They're nice and snug. Hi, Dick. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi, Dee Dee. Okay, so what we have here is just a, we would say that about eight ounce candy dish, 10 ounce candy dish. Again. I think it's bigger than that. I don't know, they're really cute though. As a candy dish. Or you could put a little candle in them. You could. Yeah. But the other ones we're going to use, I think, would be better. Color choices. Dark chocolate shimmer. Champagne shimmer. Deep Lagoon Shimmer. Brian said it's candy dishes <laughs> Juniper Shimmer. Well, I finished off the last of the retreat candy. That was a lot of candy. That was over 100 ounces we bought. <laughs> I like that chocolate in my new pen. The chocolate in what? In the vase that I did. Well, hopefully mine hangs around. Yours kind of just... It's there. I can see it. Took a road trip. Oh, you cheap one. What was a trap that I bought all that candy? <laughs> as long as I got my Heath bars and my Mr. Good bars out of there, I was happy. <laughs> She's stingy with her favorite candies. Just gonna drop a little white right down the center. You got enough paint? I think I got enough paint. Yeah, Alan made strawberry shortcake, so actually Nate made strawberry shortcake. That's I made the you made the biscuits. biscuits, but can you pull back because you're way up on the camera? Can you not see it? Do you have a monitor right now? I'm not looking at the monitor. I'm looking at candy dish. Okay, start over. I want to go too fast for me as well. No. <laughs> it was so good. Match It was a lot of strawberries. Normally, we only buy one flat, but we bought two because we knew everybody would eat them. <laughs> So and we, they did. And they did, yep. I don't know why, Nate. We had gloves.
what would happen if you spun it? Is that a challenge? I just wonder what would happen. The paint would move on the base, but not that little bit of a spin. Still sliding down. A little chocolate sugar there, a little of champagne. I eat four, Tammy. Four or what? Three puffs. I only had one at the beach house. Well, Brian and I had the first four. No. Yeah. <laughs> Linda said Brian shook down a couple. <laughs> that he did. Brian had three, so we're going to make a triple batch next year. Triple batch of oh, cream, cream puffs. puffs? yes. No, I think we had enough. No, because Vicky had one. Well, that's Vicky's fault. Because Diane stashed the last one in the fridge for later. did not, Brian. <laughs> She's so funny. Okay. Ready. I'm telling you, there's some really cool skins on there, too. We are going to do chocolate ones, Nate. Um, Michelle wants me to do the chocolate one. Look at that skin. Pretty. How about I let you choose a number this time? I don't know. I'm gonna. something uh, giveaway time 
feel like Chuck Barris. Call that bang. Ready to pour, guys. <laughs> the five new colors. Seafoam. Sandbar. The Beach Retreat Shimmer, 2021. Mellow Yellow. And Wisteria. I have the number right here. And I will let you tell them when it's ready to go. All you gotta do is say, Go, Al. Go, Al. Go. We there have a winner. Is. Sandra's Sensations is our winner. Number 21. Congratulations, Sandra. Sandra lives in Canada, so she will have to pay the shipping. <laughs> okay, you're up. Yeah. Batter up. I have to adjust the camera for this one. I think we're going to go way up. So I just want to show you this first, guys. Alan, you didn't even put your paint away. Sheesh. Mm -hmm. Men. That was such a good color combination. I thought you'd use it. No. <laughs> now I'm going to do something in blues because I'm saving this myself. Maria said, do a vase with all the new colors. Well, this vase was from my birthday flowers. It's a beautiful vase. So I thought I would pour that tonight. We actually found a cup it fits on. <laughs> I gotta pull the camera up. Can you do that for me on? Yeah. What new colors? She missed the new colors. We just gave some away. How's that? That might work. So I'm going to keep this probably for my living room. So Sarah wants to know, how many different purples do you have? I have a lot. <laughs> <coughs> we have Raj, Pop, Raj Posse Purple. Morning Pansy. We have a Purple Raspberry. Um, Vineyard Violet. And uh, this will be a new one, Wisteria. Ryan says there's seven. Seven? One, two, three, four, five. How do you get seven, Brian? Are you counting seven. Winter's Lavender? Yes. Yeah. All right. So this one's going to be. I don't know if I can find it. Moody blue. I need a silver. Kathy missed it. She had to take the trash out. That's all right, Kathy. We'll show them again. So I'll use our silver spoon with moody blue. I think I'm going to put 
some of this blue quartz in there because I love this color and I don't have a lot left, so we might as well use it up. All right, so, and that one you don't consider purple, but it is. I don't know which one he's talking about. The burgundy, maybe? Oh, Vicky's muscadine wine. Um. Mary Alice is purple is the bomb. Everybody likes purple, and everybody likes blues. Blue is like the most popular acrylic porters color though. And it's because everybody likes blue. We have a blue roof. Yeah, we have a blue roof. And a blue living room wall. And I don't know if that's gonna be enough paint. I'm gonna need a bigger cup. This is gonna take a lot of paint. All right, here we go. I only want to use this as an accent, though, because I really like the moody blue when it mixes with other colors. So we'll do that. Oh, is that a critter? A little bit of white. Cecilia says she's not a purple fan. Red is her color. Just like you, you like red too. Silver. Let me know, is it level? It's hard to tell. That's hard to tell Too much white in there. I'd rather have silver. I thought this would be a good idea to do bases tonight because these bottles will get empty and then we can refill them. All gonna go now. <laughs> there goes there. <laughs> get a set of my blue coasters. Aren't they cool? All right, let me finish this up. I'm mixing it up. I'm not doing the same colors after each other because coming out they may look prettier. There no one should know she got her box of paintings. Thank you. Yay! <laughs> oh. Brian's went out. Shelly's went out. Well, not Shelly's paintings, but Shelly's box. Oh, Tammy got hers. I used almost that whole bottle of Moody Blow, so I think we have plenty of paint. Yeah, I'll pull out paint. Well, it's a big vase. You know, it's got to come up over. Just hope I have enough. Peanut yeah. Gallery's chiming in over here. Do you want to tell them what happened to us as we were traveling around and garner? We pulled into that one store. What? Dollar General? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We pulled into Dollar General and some guy was looking at my YouTube magnet on the car and said he does a, what is it, an open market of artwork? He's going to contact me. Yeah, he's going to contact me, which is kind of cool. I meet a lot of people with those magnets. Okay, here we go. I want to get over that first lip. There it goes. Good job.
Oh yeah, we'll be good. I got plenty of pain. Losing all my moody blue. What's up with that? I need more. Diane says you definitely need to keep that base for you. It's your birthday base. It is. It's too light. getting more moody blue in there. Joy, I have to agree with you. She says there's just something about watching paint run down a base that's so calming. It is. That's my favorite spot right there. This is all gonna pull down. So you'll see more moody blue as it pulls down. We like mixing it up. We don't like to like do canvas every week, right? We like to do other stuff too. And the kid says she doesn't always like the outcome, but she loves the cool run 3D items. It's when they pull down and you lose, you know, like right now, you're like, oh, I love it. But then an hour later, it looks nothing like that. You just want to say, stop. Yeah. And I've tried, like, wiping these edges off to get it to stop dripping faster, but it doesn't work. It just continues to drip. What goes up must come down. Grab these in here. The vertical velocity of paint. It's really like dripping a lot yet, but I can't move it yet. So, now wants to know if you make something with your skins. I have boxes full of skins that we put on photo paper that I have a project I want to work on. It probably won't happen until fall. And it's actually the perfect timing for it, too, for what I'm going to do with them. But I definitely will make a video out of that. It's going to be a few days of work. I love this right now. I hope it doesn't change too much. I can see it still moving here though. You just gave Brian an idea. An idea for what? For a cup before a basement. You could use your two chamber, three chamber, four chamber cups for vases. I've seen people do those too. All right. This is parchment paper. I use photo paper for skins. I don't cut, I don't pull them off. I cut them out. I can see it moving slowly. Yeah, keep giving him ideas. It keeps him out of trouble. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> well, I bought a 3D printer, guys, just letting you know. Um, Brian and I sat at the beach house um, trying to design. Well, he was showing me how to design something that I want to make. And 
We're not going to do the same stuff that Brian does. I mean, we will have our own pour cup. But um, mine's going to be other things. He just has to rub it in, but you haven't set it up yet. I haven't. Not when we've got so much going on. All right, I think I'm going to move it. It's funny when you stare at it and you can actually see the paint moving. All right, let me push it back. Ooh. I made it kind of a mess over there. Kind of. All right, I'm scared. Alan, what? it won't clear. It won't, it won't clear. It won't fit on the rack. It's too tall. You have to stay here. Can you grab those other parchments out from under it? Just leave the one. <laughs> That's funny. It was too tall. The big things. <laughs> so, why are you cleaning up? You want to give them a little update on the final results of the uh, auction? Yeah, we did 2500 to donate and the painting went out Saturday. Yep. We got the last one out Saturday. She was late to pay, but I had already included it in the total. And then we have more paintings that we're gonna probably do another auction. And then that'll be another separate donation. Um, later in the year we'll do it so it's so we're not like doing one on top of another because once you donate to St. Jude they hound you <laughs> it's like I gave you enough don't you think but it's really never enough you know but I don't mind donating Wait, like, I missed the auction so that um, what do we have 57 I have a Two bun racks full of painting to be resin yet. Plus, I have a bunch of commission work to get done. I have so much to do. Are you ready to get over here? No. <laughs> Chicken. I made him. I made enough. A little spicy. Good. So there's only a spit of moody blue left. So you're saying don't use a moody blue. No. That's what I'm saying. I feel like my hands are tied now. I take that one color out of my repertoire. Oh my goodness. I can move that camera back down there. I don't bump into the vase. Good night, Sandra. Do you have Sandra's address? She'll email it to me. Okay.
Okay. Cecilia wants you to do reds. Reds. Yep, he wants 4th of July colors. Bye, Julie. I have to go watch your video when we're done. It's busy. It's a good thing you didn't get your nails done then. golden blue. So we're going to go with Alan's red shimmer. Just don't put the blue next to your red and you'll get purple. So put your gold in. What's wrong with purple? Everybody likes purple. <laughs> Carolina blue shimmer. Gold Rush, and also the white with no silicone. Cecilia said, no white makes pink. Not with our colors, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Nuh-uh. Just don't put white next to your red, that's all. So we have to put gold between everything. gold in between everything. He's a comedian, huh, Maria? <laughs> Who's a comedian? You. It's an awful lot of white, Alan. He's not. Wait to see how much. Hi, Mona. Oh, there it is.
Okay, let's see what we get. You want red? You get, I get red. You get what you asked for. Mona, your center. cool going on right in this section here. I'm sure you can see it with the gold and the red. It's almost making a yellow. So Mona's grandson did a video on her channel. If you guys haven't seen it, you've got to go watch it. He is so stinking cute. I love when he says, eh, eh, it's my video. <laughs> I was laughing so hard. She let him do his thing. She was just suggesting. <laughs> she had more patience than I would have had. Now, one thing that's nice about the turntable, besides not putting your finger in it, is it allows you to move real slow and look for any Grabs a pain if you see any, you can just stop it and grab them. We've got one spot up here facing the camera. See that blue? Yeah. Is there a clump right in front of it? Well, that's what I thought too. Bye, Michelle. So I think I got a little too much red on there. I like it, though. I was afraid it was going to be too blue and white. I'm almost tempted to just put a little more blue around the edge. 
I'm not going to show you the right now. Excuse me. Darnell's telling you to leave it. Oh, Darnell's telling me that, and I ain't touching it. Gloria <laughs> said, don't mess with it. All right, I won't mess with it. Your face. No, well, no. I can get it on there. It's a very dangerous um, place. We can put those paints out in the dry rack and then slide my face over. Carefully. Just Everybody refresh. Just gonna do it again. That's all Dee Dee's fault, by the way. She got me that gong for my birthday. But it's so good. It is good. Awesome. <laughs> Careful what you want, Shelly. <laughs> what? She asking for she a wants gun? a gun. Do you want to pull me five? Here we go again. Ready to pour. Did you get a number? Not yet. I'm waiting on you. Wisteria, Mellow Yellow, Sandbar, Seafoam, and Beach Retreat 2021. She hides. I have a number. Remember, a number between 1 and 50. On Ellen. Hang on, guys. Whenever you're ready. Okay. On your mark, get set, go. There it is. Kathy Carr is our winner. Number five. Congrats, Kath. That was quick, right out the gate. Congratulations, Kathy. Now she won't have to go back and watch the introduction because she'll know what she's getting when she opens her box. That's right. So I also picked up these little candle holders, but I thought these would make really cute pencil and pen holders. So 
So we're going to paint. I have four of these. I'll get them done sometime tonight. Whether we're live or not. Do a green one just for you, Brian. I'll do a green one. Don't. I'm going to do a green one. I'm going to use Brian's annoying green because that's his color. Um, I think I'll put a little gold in there. Some deep lagoon. Which says it's like double dog dare you. Maybe a little yellow, because I know how much Brian doesn't like yellow. I think I'll use the Laguna. So Brian and I will be dueling here. Yes, you could use it for paintbrushes too. The reverse psychology stuff works. <laughs> <clears throat> My base is still dripping. All right. I don't think I'm going to put any white in it, though. We'll start with Brian's Annoying Green. Gold. Deep Lagoon, Laguna. So we said we get calls from Maria's Lake Forest. Yeah, I could put some of that in there too. I don't have any without silicone though. Nope. That's one I did not fill. I'm going to do another shot of Brian's. I'm going to put a little black in there because he likes black. So you want to you're going to put this one on a cup? Hmm? Are you going to put this yeah, I'm going to put it up on a cup. A little more gold. More Deep Lagoon. Yeah, these bottles all need to be refreshed. To separate that yellow from the black so it gives it a weird green. A little bit more of Brian's green. Oops, almost dropped Brian's green. And I think that's plenty of paint. Small. You try to bloom over a piece. Yeah, it loses all its blooming. Stretches all out. This is kind of funky deli. Like green, 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 green. Like cherry. Oh, that's plenty of pink. Oh, yeah. What'd you do with those tweezies? Because I don't see them. They're not where they belong, though. They're not where they belong. Oh, 
close the gold again. Yep, they all need cleaning. I like it too. Yeah, I do. I didn't right here. I did get one little cell. I saw that. <laughs> I don't know. Paint density. I like it. Mom's calling it the green goddess. I see a little bump though. Like I don't have enough things to do this week. Paints are jarred though. I'm ready to go. So. I was wearing your lucky pants tonight. <laughs> Good night, Renee. Thank you for joining us. That's a keeper. Love this side right here. It's a, it's okay. It's pretty. I'm glad I put the black in there. It looks pretty good. You write this down. Marie wants to see sea foam with gold, lake forest, and maybe black. I'll have to pour some Lake Forest in a bottle because I don't have any without silicone. You'll have to fetch me a bottle. You put them back. No, you didn't. Okay. I thought you put them back up. Seafoam gold. Uh, it's down below next to Shelly's masquerade right straight ahead of where you're down one right in front of you yep nope it's green babe it's like military. No, military green's up higher. Hand me that. Don't get me a baba. Is he baba? Thank you. Maria's. I don't have them all without silicone, but most of them. Can you move that one and I'll do another one real quick with sea foam? Was the other one gold? Gold, maybe black. Okay. I don't know, those greens kind of clash, but we'll see. Top. It's pretty funky skin, isn't it? Next time we have to have titles ready. That would have made a cool coaster. 
We tried saving the skins on parchment before, but they get too wrinkly. And I can't do too much with them. I may need the gold too. <laughs> Thank you, baby. No, that's copper. It's top shelf. This guy's got to learn his colors. I don't label those. You are not colorblind. Well, maybe. <laughs> Can I have a clean bottle? Because this one's cruddy. I might as well just change it out. See, nobody knew that about me. What? That I'm colorblind. You're not colorblind. Stop lying. <laughs> well, that's there's lumps in that. Yeah, they will peel right off of freezer paper. Yeah. I just don't want to buy freezer paper when I have like five boxes of parchment paper. They weren't lumps; they were bubbles. Now that was a lump. Oh my goodness, these things really need to be strained. I thought about buying one of those cutters, you know, when you put the butcher paper on it. Then I could use it for resin too, but they're expensive. All right, so let's start with Maria's. I'm going to separate with gold. A little bit of black. Some sea foam. Back to Maria's. Black, a little bit of gold, sea foam. I'm heavy dose in the sea foam because I think it's going to get lost with the gold. Um, Yeah, I would not put copper with that sea foam. It's too um, red against the green. I think you'd get mud. If you have more colors, you could definitely separate it. But because I'm working on a small palette here, you're bound to get mud. All right. Let's see how this works. I've lost all Maria's green. I mean, it's there, but it's so intermingled with the sea foam. Okay, maybe here we go. Last color out. I may have to go back in because now I lost all the sea foam. It's 
good way to use up paints that need to be. Oh, look at the cells. Yeah, because we get any cells. It's because of our gold. Our gold is very reactive. There we go. Let's stop right there. Yeah, they are definitely camo. Where? Right there? Right there. That'll move. Super cool. I'm liking these little bitty cells that are popping up though. Let me torch it and see. This one actually has cells, which is pretty cool. hands on it. Ah, there we go. Where do you want to know, is that black hitting the sea foam making a gray of some sort? No, it's actually, yeah, maybe. Yeah, it looks like, but it's got some cells in it, which is kind of cool. It's very unique. It's unique. What's it looking for? Nothing, I was waiting to see if my fingers were going to drip. <laughs> so Maria's metallic, Maria's Lake Forest is a metallic, as well as the gold. I think that's where the cells are. All right, boo boo. We got time. <laughs> Do something with that. Either the beach retreat or the wisteria or the yellow or the sandbar and chocolate with gold or do something with those. We got a lot of that left. Save it for the top. Do something with it. Something with it. You need more parchment? I have resin to do this week, so it works out good. Merci beaucoup. Jerry's orders come in three boxes. Where you, where you put it? 
So if you guys didn't hit the Jerry sale, the big jugs of paint, I ordered a ton of white and black. I think I ordered 18 jugs. They are on sale for $12.99, every color, including the metallic. She was excited about that. Yes, I was. I've been waiting for a sale like that. We are out of white. How could we be out of white? Because I used it all at the retreat. So what if I use all five colors? It'll look like an Easter egg, but go ahead. Are you doing a candy dish? Or a pen holder. Pen holder, candle holder. Today's the last day, you know, at midnight. It's a memorial sale. 2021 Beach Retreat Shimmer. Speak of it. Where did the caps go to your two bottles here? And those are two new ones, babe. I got it for caps. Uh -huh. Seafoam. It starts today, Mo. Our sale. As soon as the live started. For everybody in the group and on Wisteria. here. Wisteria. Mellow yellow. Thank you, Linda. So Alan's using all the new colors together. With nothing else. Good night, Darnell. No silicone. mixing that sandbar I'm like oh I can use that for makeup <laughs> it's a perfect color exactly what I thought it would do. What? I kind of muddled together. It's hard to tell what it's going to look like until it's dry. Loving that new beach retreat color though. It's very sparkly. It's 
Well, I pretty much lost or I'm going to lose the Wisteria. There's a few few lines of it showing up. Well, I'm gonna mm -hmm. be doing a little bit of um, oil on some of these. So we can like highlight areas that we like. Now I think that's where the wisteria blended with the mellow yellow and made it gray. There definitely is some separation though. Like from the sandbar and the sea foam. You can see it up close, you just can't see it from where we're seeing it from. One more quick one, and then we'll be done. Oh, it's pretty. Take your cup. There you go. I want to play with that wisteria real quick. You mean the seventh purple? The seventh purple. And then we'll call it a night. These gloves fit bigger than the other ones we had. It's because they're one size fits all. Fits most. All right. Let's use, oh, messy. We use the wisteria and some morning pansy and mm, the light amethyst. But we're going to use silver. I think you should go with this face. And I need a little, I gotta put a little bit of blue in there to break up the, um, I think I'll use the moody blue. There's just a tiny bit left. All right. <coughs> Let's start with morning pansy. And then we'll go with the light amethyst from Folk Art. A little, oops, yeah, that'll work. Just a little bit of moody blue in there. And we'll do our wisteria. And some silver. And 
morning pansy. Mixing it up just a little bit. I'm going to use up that moody blue. Yeah, because we haven't done enough blues tonight. <laughs> Sorry, Nate. Okay. That should be enough paint because these are small. They're small. Down. Oh, yeah. A lot of purple. Come on. Where's my colors? me any good, did it? It's purple. I wonder where that, that bright purple is from the morning pansy mixing with the silver, I bet. Nate stormy weather. <laughs> White. <laughs> White would have really mellowed out those those purples. I'm not minding it, because when it dries it'll be totally different. Yeah, but then we have to mix all that stuff up without silicone. So everything on our wall has silicone in it. It's like when you plan a video to do vases, you can mix up your colors. And But when this is not planned, we used up what we had. Because I really wanted to use Bluebird tonight. I didn't use it. But I'm not minding. It's really pretty up close. The moody blue is in there for contrast to break up some of those purples, and it actually works. And it'll be super shiny with the silver in there. And then this, of course, this folk art um, light amethyst is really shiny too. I like it. So 
we're only two minutes over. We did good. <laughs> so join us again next Monday night. You never know what we're going to be doing. It's kind of a, let's do this. <laughs> so if you're interested in the paint sale, reach out to me at Christina Wellchart at yahoo.com. Um, if you just want to send me your list of colors, that's fine. Don't need zip codes because everything's free shipping. And um, I know I've got a couple of commission pieces I got to work on this week. Hopefully I'll get to film those and I've got some resining to do. Maybe I'll get to film some of that. But it's going to be a stressful week for me. And then back to kicking back a little bit next week, I hope. But we love you all, mean it, and uh, we'll see you all next week. Have a great evening. Bye now.